Hey everyone, it's been a while, and today I'm back with a video on Haskell. It's a very specific part of Haskell that I'd like to talk about. It's higher order functions, basically. And uh, I, I have to admit, I'm not 100% certain. I'm not 100% certain that this is exactly what it's like, but I'll talk about currying and partial application as far as I understood it from a video from University of Glasgow. So to get started, we're, we're just gonna, actually we're just gonna start with carrying. So to get started with that, I'll, I'll write down a function that you may very, be, uh, very well be familiar with, which I'll do on the right. So that's 5 plus 3. Well that's a function, right? That's an infix operator. You could also write this like that. That's also how it's defined. Here you see on the right side what its type is. Here you see it takes a number, A, that's its type variable, a generic type, but that's not what it's called in Haskell. And then you have two of them, and you have an A. And then you can type in 5 and 3, and that will give you back something. Well, if you look at that type, we see it takes th two inputs and has one output. That's not how you exactly read it. You're not going to say it takes two numbers. What you'll what it basically says is you put in a number and then you have a function that takes in another number and then you return a result. That's exactly how it reads. And to to write it down here, for instance, uh, here it says I'll just write that down again. It says this. But what it actually can be or should be read as is this a to a to a something like um yeah something like this basically that's what it reads like so it returns a function instead of reading like that read it like this you take in an a and retur return a function that takes in a number another number a and returns a number a let's try and do exactly that with our plus right here so we'll, we'll just call it my addition or well let's just call it add actually let's call it add and we just figured out it has to be number a and then well, we'll, re we'll just have exactly that type up here that we define. Well, it's lacking a uh, binding, right? So we can say that can be n, and then that would just be plus, and then n, and that's it. Because here, it only has one more input that we are leaving out here, and Haskell simply does that for us. So it you don't you don't have to type in another variable that's uh, that's against the idea of what we're doing here so now you're return you're essentially returning that plus well the addition but already filled with a number n leaving one more input and that's exactly this function so that's very useful because now we can write well 5 add 3 that should give us 8 but to uh, make you, uh, maybe that's more understandable, or even more so in most program programming languages that are not that are not Haskell, you would probably write it like this, or um, maybe like th like this even something like that. Okay, but how is this higher order functions? Well, it's because of that. If you have an input or output that is a function, well, then it's basically higher order functions as soon as you have that. Or generally the capability in a programming language that you are able to do that. So that's currying in a very simple, with a very simple example. And then you have, um, pre then you have partial application. That I've seen a little bit, to be honest. You can always question whether or not these things are very useful. They are very useful if you are someone in mathematics who has to do proofs. If you have to prove something, this is very useful because in mathematics it's um, desirable to have one input. 
or in most cases you do. So that's why you're why you're doing that, and why a lot of people like it. So that's more or less a philosophy. At least that's my opinion, and it might not be true. So, and then let's get to partial application, as I've said before. Here you go. So partial application. That will be very specific parts in your code that you'd use more often. So let's say right here we said we only have one input, right? And we can do the same with partial application. So if we instead of writing all of this, what we could do is um, instead of generalizing it, we can write it for a very certain example. Let's say add 5. And what we can do then is this and 5, leaving off another number. And now if we go up here and say add 5 and put in a 3, it will give us 8. So that's exactly what we wanted to have, and that's currying and partial application. I'll link you down below the video from University of Glasgow that I've watched. You might want to give it a go, and yeah, I hope that might excite you for Haskell or generally for functional programming concepts. And that's it. See you later.